At the two-day World Peace Forum, the China and the U.S. are the focus. International relations experts are concerned about the deteriorating geopolitical relationship between the two powers. The reality is that in this new age of strategic competition between China and the United States, as a matter of logic, there are only two alternatives: managed strategic competition with some rules of the road and some prospect of preserving the peace, or unmanaged competition, the loss of all strategic guardrails and the growing risk of crisis, conflict, and war. At the recent G7 summit, the Biden administration tried to unite allies to take on China for a political win. But experts point out that superficial diplomatic statements can't override to real economic interests and trade relations. At the end of the day, countries have to pay. They have to be realistic. They have to take care of their own interests. And and as far as they're concerned, they want to have good ties with the United States. They want to have good ties with China, and they don't want to take sides. Targeting China helps the Biden administration reach bipartisan consensus in increasingly divided U.S. society. However, more urgent issues require the two powers to cooperate. In this case, climate. So there is a opportunity for this issue to be framed in a way that can bring China and the United States together. One lesson we can learn from the COVID COVID nineteen pandemic in twenty twenty is that. No country can face global challenges alone. China-U.S. relations was hit by the trade war and then deteriorated under the COVID-19 pandemic. Experts worry that the downturn threatens world peace and international order. Resetting China-U.S. relations is urgent, but both sides still face considerable challenges in so doing. Yang Shenshan, CGTN, Beijing.